To write the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus MgSO4, this is sodium phosphate plus magnesium sulfate, we're going to use these rules here. First, we need to balance the molecular equation. When you balance this, the coefficients end up 2, 3, 3, and then 1. If you need help, there's a link in the description of this video for how to balance this molecular equation. So we've got that done. Now we can write the state for each substance. So sodium compounds are very soluble. We're a little AQ for aqueous dissolved in water. Magnesium sulfate, sulfate's often soluble. Let's take a look though. So we have a solubility chart here. So we find magnesium, here's magnesium. We go over and here's the sulfate. So that S means it's soluble, it'll dissolve in water. So we'll write AQ, this will be aqueous dissolved in water. We said sodium compounds are soluble, aqueous. And then magnesium phosphate, here's our magnesium again, and phosphate. So we go down and over, and we see that I. That means magnesium phosphate is insoluble in water. It won't dissolve, so it's going to be a solid. In fact, when these two react, this will be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid. So we have our states. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So sodium group one on the periodic table, one plus ionic charge, the whole phosphate, three minus, good one to remember. Two times three, so I have six sodium ions, and I'll write aqueous and stuff at the end, plus two phosphate ions. And then for the magnesium, magnesium's in group two, two plus, the whole sulfate ion always has a two minus ionic charge. So we have three magnesium ions and then three sulfate ions. So these are our reactants in the net ionic equation. Products, we said plus two minus three times two. So we have six sodium ions again, plus three times the sulfate, so three sulfate ions. And then for the magnesium phosphate, it's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So it's just Mg3PO4, two. So this is our complete or total net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus MgSO4. So now that we have this, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. I see I have six sodium in the reactants and then six in the products. Get rid of that. Three sulfates here and then again in the products. Get rid of that. So what's left is the net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus magnesium sulfate. I'll clean this up and then I'll write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this Na3PO4 plus MgSO4. Often you'll see the positive ion first in the reactants. It really doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Maybe it looks a little nicer. So we have that. And you can see charge is balanced. I have three times two plus, that's six plus. Two times three minus is six minus. Six plus six minus, that balances out, gives us a net charge of zero. And over here we have a neutral compound, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus magnesium sulfate. Thanks for watching.